it's Ketchy, aka OB Gem. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you liked what you see, please do not forget to hit the like button so I know to keep making content like this. So I'm actually doing, I think this isn't quite a first. I guess this is another throwback to a throwback because among one of the first videos on my channel, was a speed reno of an apartment and that was the daniels apartment in evergreen harbor for my eco lifestyle lp i remade the stone street apartment that they were living in and it really wasn't that like impressive of a renovation because it was kind of minimalist since it was supposed to be following the storyline that they were coming to Evergreen Harbor with very little furniture or things to have with them. Whereas this renovation is a little bit more involved. So this is the 910 Medina Studio apartment and Sam Maishino. And what inspired me to remake this particular apartment is on my save that I play non-recording is the save for my mascot sim, Diana Desmond. And I was meaning to jump into her save yesterday and continue her storyline. And when I went into her building, because every single time you go into an apartment building in San Maishino, you see all the surrounding apartments before you click on the household you want. And every single time I go into her building, I am greeted with the eyesore, which is Celine Bensali. Uh, is it Bensali? I think that's how I apologize if that's not correct but Celine's apartment which is adjacent to her apartment is a very big eyesore and it's the only apartment that I haven't redone in that building because the other two apartments have sims in them that I created and moved in so those apartments are re renovated but Celine's apartment just stared me in the face every single time I went to the building and it kind of is like a gross <laughs> TLC apartment it, it's not great and what really pushed me to remodel this apartment is in Diana's save, Salim actually got married to Nina Caliente. So I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is so sad that Nina is living in this apartment with Salim and the place is disgusting and she deserves better than that. She deserves a better place to live than this. So I went in and didn't even play the save really that much yesterday because I wanted to remake this apartment and give Nina Caliente a good place to live. So that is where we are. So as with most apartments or things and saves that I play with that aren't like made specifically just to like put on the gallery, I always will include CC and this apartment is CC'd to the nines. So I will be including those links for the CC for this apartment down below in case there's some items here that you'd like to include in your game if you use build CC. I don't know if I'm going to be putting this apartment on a gallery. If you guys want it, let me know and I'll do that and you guys can I guess replace Celine's apartment, give him a nicer place to live. <laughs> but I did want to give his apartment more of a boho chic um, style to it, but I didn't want it to like look disgusting. Because if you read Celine's bio, he doesn't come off as some some guy who doesn't care what his place looks like, or like a slob, or somebody who's disgusting. Like He comes off as somebody who doesn't really like know where his interests lie so he kind of dabbles in everything and they like describe him as an artist who dabbles in like books and art and like everything like that so i wanted it to like look like somebody who dabbles in those types of things so i did add like a bigger bookshelf in the hallway area i don't think i've gotten to that part yet but like i think where like he had like a small bookshelf in here and he had like zero art so you don't really get the vibe of who he is from his apartment the way that ea set it up and the place just looks disgusting it looks like somebody who doesn't care lives here somebody who's like an absolute slob and just really doesn't care and like i just don't like he doesn't strike me as that dude he doesn't strike me as the guy who just doesn't care so i wanted it to give it a vibe that yes he cares but like maybe he's just like somebody who doesn't make a whole lot of money which is why he lives in this TLC apartment that's cheap and as rats because there are little mouse holes throughout this apartment there's like one in the living room area and there's one inside the room so like 
I would hope eventually that Salim would want to move out of this apartment with Nina since like it's not like a great like place for new newlyweds to live a place that's got a rodent problem so it's time for Salim to kind of level up and move out into a place that isn't gross but while they're here I wanted it to look nice and I do expect they'll probably be moving out soon because when I was playtesting the apartment to make sure that they can you know, like move around in here like I actually noticed that Nina is pregnant so this is a one bedroom and there's not really a whole lot of room in this place to expand to have a child so I would hope that Salim will like get his money up and move out into a nice little house for him Nina and the new baby so but in the meantime until Nina gives birth they can live in this fabulous apartment that I've made for them so <laughs> I hope they enjoy it so as for the CC items, a lot of the items I have in here um, as far as build are actually from Peacemaker. So the, not the couch, but like I think some of the wallpaper I used um, is Peacemaker. The brick is not. I, it's, it's, I am not remembering the name of the person who made CC, but they like have a whole bunch of like build like wallpaper texture CC they do and that's always initialed with PS and I pretty much everybody who used build CC probably has the same um, brick uh, brick textures and like out outside textures for your walls for your builds they make a lot of them and I have a lot of that build CC in my game so that's what I have <laughs> but um, I did uh, include uh, um, some of Peacemaker's cabinetries so that I left the stove in the fridge because it seemed um, on brand for this apartment to have like older appliances like that and the off-white the green color also matched but like I did include touches of this place being like a little bit run down but like in a fashionable type of way so if you saw in that wall I put some of that graffiti um, spray paint on that brick wall and then like my idea is that like when Nina moved in she kind of saw like how the apartment was very much a bachelor pad and like needed a little bit of judging up so i imagine that maybe need to put that that picture on that back brick wall to kind of cover up the graffiti i also upgraded salim's um tv so i left a little like stack of suitcases but like before it was like the rabbit ear tv i think that came with base game i just replaced it with uh it's like the old TV that comes with Eco Lifestyle. If you go into the debug, you can find it uh, find it there. Otherwise, like you can find it in the world if you go to one of the um, community lots. It nor normally they'll turn up there, or if you go dumpster diving. But in the bedroom, which is where I am now, I did want to like um, include like a slightly different carpet because I think it was like that in the original layout where the carpet in the bedroom was a different color but that blue color just seems like very old like I feel like in old houses and old apartments they'll have like very wild colors so I wanted to kind of keep to that and like if you guys watch Ocean Sims she's been doing a whole lot of builds lately and her favorite thing is green carpets and like I, I feel like I've been like really honing on that like the different colored carpets in older houses and so I've been doing that I love actually using carpet I just don't like the carpet textures in the game so the carpet I used in here which I don't remember who made the carpet but every single time I use carpet in a build that I'm not planning to put on the gallery and I CC to the nines it's always this carpet because this carpet texture is like the best carpet texture I've ever seen uh, and like that's no understatement because for like some reason with CC carpet textures they tend to lean very very alpha and I'm not opposed to alpha but like I feel like with carpet textures it's it kind of I want it to blend a whole lot more than like an alpha carpet and like it's very hard to find like a Max's match CC carpet texture that doesn't stick out like a thor sore thumb. This carpet texture like feels like it looks so plush and it's the only carpet CC I've ever seen that like has that texture that looks it's like an upgraded Max's match uh, carpet texture in my opinion. So I like to use it a whole lot and I like it better than any of the carpets they have in game. I don't like any of the carpet textures of the carpets in game. They're all kind of like, I don't know, I don't, I'm not a fan of them. And they don't 
they don't give us any new carpets. I get it, like, like carpets is not like a thing that a lot of people like to have in their house. I like to include carpets in my houses and apartments because to me that's realistic. A lot of places aren't like wall-to-wall -wall hardwood floors. It's an expensive type of layout. So I like to include realistic things like carpets in the bedrooms, but maybe not in the living room area. Maybe that's where you have the hardwood floors. But that and the bed, which I'm gonna have the CC links down below because I don't remember who it's from. But that texture of the bed, it looks so comfy. The biggest problem I have with the beds in game is that the blanket textures are so flat. So they don't look comfortable. They don't look cozy. They don't look inviting for your sim to go in and sleep under them, especially like on like a winter night. So like I love to use CC um, beds that have like blankets that look fluffy like that. So that is what I included there. So as you can see right there, I got rid of Salim's um, computer desk area. I'm going to be putting it back. The reason why I got rid of it is that I feel like Salim is like kind of cheap and frugal when it comes to most things such as this apartment and the things in it but I think when it comes to his computer and the area where he works that is the one place where he splurges if you guys aren't aware of Salim is actually in the writing career and so I would assume that like that would be the one item he would want to make sure is like top notch in his apartment so he can do his work really well so i did splurge and get him a really expensive computer that computer i believe is from um little dika's uh, he's got a couple different sets as far as electronics and it looks gorgeous that is the kind of computer setup you want to have if you are spending a lot of time writing or doing anything on the computer so that is what i have and i'm just actually just finishing up at this apartment area it's mostly done at this point but i think the last couple things i want to put in here is a table for Salim and Nina and any future kids they might decide to have in this apartment to eat at because before there was nowhere in this apartment for anybody to sit down and eat food. I guess if you were in this, this apartment set up like the, what you have to do is just like make the food and eat it on the couch was this kind of like very bachelor pad so I kind of wanted to give it less of that feel and make it feel a little bit more homey with it having like a table area for them to sit and eat but like I guess the last last thing actually in here was actually the bathroom and not the dinner table so it did, the t bathroom I didn't really change a whole lot I think I just gave the bathroom some tiles I left the flooring in the kitchen in the bathroom that kind of old weathered um, linoleum because that seemed to fit and I think I just um, added like a, a better shower and then like some um, wall decor but that is it I'm going to be transitioning into a, some a photos for you guys to see of the renovated apartment and of course there will be CC links in the description below in case you want some of these items to try out some built CC but until next time guys stay safe stay healthy and of course stay dazzled I will see you in the next one bye you're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never grows I was hiding like the moon, like that never shows I should have told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time I should have told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time I should've told you that I loved you every night Oh, that's on my mind I should've told you that I loved you One more time, one more time Would you have stayed if I had been on? Okay, if I'm falling and you're running away, you're the 